Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a droplet in Photoshop and use it to batch process a series of photos. Photoshop droplets are kind of an obscure feature and basically act as a sort of wrapper for a Photoshop action. That way you can save a droplet to your computer, then drag and drop multiple images onto the droplet file to apply the same actions to all of them at once. You can download the project files for this tutorial, including the droplet we're going to create and a small series of photos to work with if you don't have any of your own. Let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is create an action. Now, since droplets are mostly used for batch processing, the action we make is going to be for a simple resize. So here we have a single image from the series of images that we want to resize. So open the actions palette if it's not open already and click the create new action button. Name it Resize and hit the record button. To resize the image you can use short keys or just click Image, Image Size to open the Image Size dialog box and set the width to about 640 pixels and hit OK. You'll notice in the Actions palette that a new Image Size step has been added to our resize action. Next you'll want to save the file but not overwrite the original image so click File, Save for Web, and after you choose your format and file settings, you'll just want to hit save and choose your destination folder, which in our case is going to be the process files folder, which is on the desktop. After you choose your folder, just hit save. Lastly, close your document and when it asks you if you want to save, hit no. That way you don't overwrite the original file. Now go to the bottom of the actions palette and hit stop to stop recording your action. Now we have an action that will resize the currently open image, save it to our specified folder, then close the file without overwriting the original. At this point, you could open your files and manually apply the action to each one, or you could open them all and click File Automate Batch and batch process them that way. But using a droplet is faster and allows you to process files without clicking through the batch interface over and over again. So now we'll create our droplet to process all of our files at once. So go over and click File, Automate, Create Droplet. First you'll want to choose where to save your droplet, so click the Choose button, and we're just going to save it to the desktop, and name it Resize 640, and hit Save. Then you'll want to choose which action you want the droplet to use. You don't need to choose a destination because the action we created already includes a Save As command. Now you just need to click OK. So if I open our desktop, you'll see the Resize 640 droplet file that we just created. And if I open the Source Files folder and the Processed Files folder, you'll see our original images here, and you'll see the one processed file that we created when we originally created our action. So I'm going to delete that one, that way you can see the droplet process all three of these source images. Now all I have to do is highlight all three of these source images and drag it onto our droplet and you'll see Photoshop pop open and do its magic. Now if we go back and look at the processed files folder now, you'll see all three of our original images have been resized and resaved as a new file thanks to our droplet. Photoshop droplets are really helpful if you have an action that you use all the time or if you want to share Photoshop actions with other people in a really easy to use format. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.